What is up, investors? Things are looking very nice over in the crypto market. Um, and I mean really nice. We have Bitcoin now above $31,000. And we have Cardano, which is the topic we're going to be talking about today. Cardano currently is above 55 cents. We've seen some very aggressive moves on Cardano at this moment. Um, we actually have Cardano up more than 15% at this time. So uh, things have things have been trucking along here very, 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 very nicely. And we've also seen a big increase in the total value locked. And we're getting ready to have that, that Vassal hard fork testnet launching on June 2nd. So some big things going on with Cardano right now. We're having some good price movements. We're seeing an increase in total value locked. And the things in the overall crypto market in general are just looking nice. Things are really starting to turn around now. So uh, we have some potentially you know, very bullish things going on with Cardano. So um, if, if, if you don't mind, as we get to this, do me a huge favor. Please be sure to smash, destroy, annihilate or gently press that like button. Help me out with the algorithm, help spread the content to more people that might find it interesting, and subscribe if you have not already. Now let's get to this. Now, talking about the crypto market starting to turn around a bit, this is something that is very nice to see, and that is looking at the last seven days growth percentages Looking at Bitcoin, we actually have Bitcoin now in the green over the last seven days and Cardano in the green over the last seven days. So we're seeing it move up really nicely right now and we're finally in the green for a seven day period. So we really uh, started to gain back some of, uh, some of the recent losses and hopefully we just keep moving that direction. And it's nice, this could not have happened at a better time. So hopefully it just continues to, to move this direction as we're getting into the uh, the Vassal hard fork because if, if that is the case, if we're seeing crypto starting to regain a lot of its losses and Bitcoin continue moving up, then we can have a really nice a bull run with Cardano as we finish out June. So uh, that would be absolutely amazing if we get a very similar situation like we had last time when we're leading into the Alonzo update, when we were seeing crypto really uh, start turning around at that time and uh, Cardano was able to really ride that wave with the crypto market and just keep going up where it went to its all time highs. Now at that time, there wasn't a whole lot to offer yet with Cardano because the, the ecosystem wasn't where it's at now. There was, there was um, that was just the, the beginning of the whole smart contract phase there. So now we've had this, this time between September and now that uh, things have really grown in the Cardano ecosystem. So th this is a much different situation now. Now, I'm not trying to say that the current rally that we could possibly be seeing into the, the Basel hard fork could lead us into a price higher than we were at during the Alonzo hard fork over that short period of time from July, from let's say like the mid July on into the beginning of September, where we had seen the price of ADA go to its all time high. I'm not trying to say that here in the short term, we can quickly see the price of ADA going to that price and, and go higher than its all time, uh, all time high. What I'm saying is that the price that ADA is right now, in my opinion, is way undervalued, especially in comparison to what Cardano has to offer right now in its evolving ecosystem in comparison to the price that it was back in September. In my opinion, it is a way more valuable than it was then, and it has way more to offer right now than it did at that time. It had been in this falling wedge for far too long in my opinion and the ecosystem has continued to evolve and there is many things that many people have gotten wrong about cardano one being the total value lock which, which i talked about yesterday how it's not as bad as many people were saying because they were comparing the price of the total value locked in united states dollars they're comparing it to fiat not the amount of tokens and looking at the total value locked of ada right now it has gone up 13.69% in the last 24 hours. Yesterday, when I had um, talked about it, the total value locked of ADA was at 318 million tokens, now at 350 million tokens locked. And in some more news, over 5 million native assets have been minted 
on Cardano. This is double the figure seen at the end of last year. And it's worth noting that it started accumulating these assets on March 1st. So just over a very short period of time. And according from data acquired by Finbold, the number of active Cardano pools near 3,000 as the vast of hard fork approaches. So growing assets, growing ecosystem, and the new change is focus on scaling the network. Things are going to get crazy, in my opinion. It's gonna be very interesting to watch what does happen. And something to think about as well is that when we had ended 2021, the amount of ADA total value locked was around 1 million. So we grew that total value locked of ADA over a very short period of time. That's another thing that is definitely worth mentioning. The, the total value locked of ADA has grown significantly over a short period of time. And also, Car Cardano is kind of seen as a big competitor to Ethereum, but at the same time, it's also seen as something like Bitcoin, where, where what Cardano is separated from Ethereum is that there is a limit supply of Cardano. 45 billion tokens is the max, and currently we're at about 75% of that with a little bit less than 34 billion tokens currently in supply. So um, it, it's just going to get interesting to watch what happens from here. And I can only expect that the total value lock is going to continue to increase. And we, we might see some interesting stuff to happen throughout the rest of the year. So in the short term, I think that we might be breaking out of this wedge. We won't be in this wedge anymore. And what we could be happening is we could be be working our way up. As high, How high can we go? I don't want to say how high could we go because anything can happen. With the crypto mar market now moving, which I didn't think it was going to uh, really start taking off just yet with the price of Bitcoin going up right now, uh, th this could be a big game changer to what we can expect to happen with uh, Cardano as we're, we get to the end of June. It, this is going to be very interesting to watch. I do not want to throw out a price prediction because I feel like I feel like I don't want to one underestimate or overestimate. Both could just be terrible. So I, I expect a really nice rally and I expect to break out of this falling wedge that we've been in. And uh, and I'll leave it right there for now. But I do expect to make a lot more um, ADA content as well as a lot more content in general on Bitcoin and etc. So with that being said, I'll leave it right there. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. New content coming out all the time. Thank you guys for watching and listening. I'll see you all in the next one coming very soon.